Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Wise words, but do you know who said it? That's because these words were spoken by a man who faded into obscurity, a man whose fame and fortune was overshadowed by the success of his rival, but most importantly, a man who uncovered some of the world's greatest innovations. As a boy, Nikola Tesla studied electrical and mechanical engineering. Like the minds of Aristotle, Newton, and da Vinci, Tesla was driven by ingenuity. And then one day, a breakthrough. Tesla wandered in a park at dusk. As he watched the sun fade, he was reminded of a passage he had once read. The glow retreats. Done is the day of toil. It yonder hastes. New fields of life exploring. Ah, that no wing can lift me from the soil. Upon its track to follow, follow sorry. These words sparked a moment of clarity. History changed in a second. Modern electricity was born. The conclusion Tesla drew became the foundation for alternating current, the way electrical systems work today. But revolutionary ideas are often met with opposition. Thomas Edison was a famous inventor, and he had his own ideas about electricity. He also knew how to exploit them. Like Tesla, Edison understood how electricity could change the world. So it seems only natural the two would meet. 1884, the year Tesla came to America to work for Edison. Tesla arrived with a letter of recommendation from one of Edison's former employees that read, I know of two great men. You are one of them. The other is this young man. But soon after this introduction, their relationship took a dark turn. Edison's inventions like the light bulb use direct current in contrast to Tesla's more efficient alternating current. But patents put price tags on ideas and sometimes ethics are sacrificed for the sake of profit. Their clash in theories, along with business disputes, forced Tesla to dissolve his ties with Edison. He continued to develop alternating current technology, but popularizing AC power meant financial loss for Edison, who'd stop at nothing to save his empire. Slanted media coverage, technological sabotage, and sadistic experiments. Edison shocked the world by demonizing Tesla's technology with atrocities, setting the stage for a ruthless competition called the War of Currents, where they battled in their pursuit to power the world. Edison wanted Tesla to fade away into obscurity, but Tesla fought back the only way he could, with his imagination. Engineering ideas behind the radio, radar, x-rays, hydroelectricity, cryogenics, transistors, radio waves, remote control, wireless communications, earthquake machines, and the death ray! But what were these ideas worth if you couldn't commercialize them like Edison did? People wanted light bulbs, vacuums, toasters. The death ray isn't exactly a household item. His theories were mocked and there's a fine line between brilliance and insanity. Tesla continued to develop some of the world's greatest scientific advances, but he spent years struggling to support himself. He retreated from society and began conducting bizarre experiments in his hotel room, earning him the reputation of a mad scientist. Legend has it that after his death, government agencies seized Tesla's papers outlining the plans behind his death ray. And while alternating current became his signature contribution to the scientific world, for many years his work went virtually unrecognized, discredited by the public because of his reclusive lifestyle and advanced ideas. But now his name lives on, kept alive by a community of scientists and engineers who ignored his critics and realized his true genius.